Thomas, one all here at Bristol City. How would you assess your team's performance today? Um, again, solid. Um, I'm really pleased that the two last two performances have been, you know, above average. We, we can do even more, especially on the ball. Uh, but off the ball, I think we, especially the first half, pressed well, pressed aggressive uh, high, won the ball in good areas. Um, could have done a little bit more. I think we could have got three points out of the game. I'm really pleased with, we're, not that we're getting one nil down, but the way we came back in the game, we stayed in the game, we still tried to dominate, uh, we got the equaliser and we went for the, for the winning goal. Uh, I think that's really pleasing um, overall that the team have have, they are growing at uh, this moment in time. I think the system, 343, worked better and better. Uh, so that could be um, a good possible, possi a good positive solution going forward as well. Um, the only thing is the last 10 minutes, I would say, I think we got too, pushed too much back and we didn't got up high enough and didn't control the, the game well enough the last 10 minutes. What was the reaction in the dressing room at half-time? A neutral observer might, might have felt you, your team was unfortunately behind at that point. Yeah, I think they were, they were calm. Uh, I was calm as well because I think we performed uh, quite well first half and we were um, unlucky to be 1-0 down uh, and an own goal. Um, so I think we, that's another good signal that we are you know, growing and we are going back in and crawling and getting up uh, to a higher level. Um, you know, physical, mental, technical, tactical. Um, the goal that, that we conceded uh, looked just like a, a free header from a corner, but from our viewpoint, we couldn't see a massive deflection that I understand it took. Oh yeah, massive deflection, it's own goal. Um, it is, you know, when you play with three strong players and four man marking, sometimes there could be one in the box unmarked, but that's a part of that strategy. Um, and I think, you know, on a, on a top, uh, on a top day, Esri is going to win that header, uh, and then their fortune. You know, you know, they, they, it's a deflection and going into the goal. Having said that, you conceded the goal. You were playing well at the time, an unfortunate goal. In other games in recent weeks, the team has not responded well to that. Today was different. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing. Uh, the big thing is that we didn't concede two, uh, and again, it was a, a soft, unlucky goal. But the reaction was was really good. You can see. It showed a little bit more personality and character, uh, and I like that. That's something we've been talking, training, um, you know, developing the last couple of, of weeks, and that response was good. You also saw it in Resbom, Resbom as well. So we definitely see some of the characters stepping up. I think Rom and Kamut did very well in Central. I think the back three did well again. Uh, so overall, um, a solid performance. You mentioned the system in one of your early answers. Are, do the, is this the sort of thing where the players get more used to it the more often they play it? Oh yeah, definitely. I think it's also something we've been training on a little bit. Of course, it's, it's, <laughs> it's uh, difficult to, to train that much, but we can do small bits and the analysis on the videos. Uh, they are, they're, they're, that's where we are correcting the details. Uh, but also, the more minutes they get in that, the better it will be. You made a change to your wing-backs today with Henrik coming in for Rico Henry. Rico was on the bench. What, what was the thinking there? Oh, the thinking was that I have three uh, good uh, wing-backs. Actually, I have four. Just Clark have been un unlucky with a, with a growing issue on the, on the B team. But the three are all candidates to play. Uh, but us, all of them can't play four games. Uh, so we need to uh, make sure we get the, the right energy because we have high demand for that position. We want them to press high, want them to arrive in the box, but also defend low. Have you done anything differently? Because we mentioned about how the team didn't um, react badly after seeding the first goal. They then didn't react badly after equalising, which has also happened in recent weeks. Are you doing anything differently to cause this? I think we've been, uh, I think we've been, you know, sometimes you don't see how hard we work with all the small details, physical, mental, technical, tactical, every single uh, day and after each game. Uh, so we've been working really hard. I would say after after Sheffield United was something where we have some, some long meetings and I think the players have been stepping up massively after that um, and we're working really hard on the training pitch and off the training pitch. Uh, you mentioned the last 10 minutes or so you, you sat a bit you sat a bit deep there was uh, some free kicks went into the box Dan Bentley made himself big and, 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 and kept one out uh, is there a reason for that? For what sorry? Let's uh, sit, sit so deep in the, no, in the latest no, 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 no. I think it's it, you know sometimes also there's also an, an opponent uh, they want to press and they want to go forward uh, that's one thing. I think, I don't know if you got a little bit too scared or we just wanted this point or we maybe didn't want, was on top of the game. Um, and I think also we made some, some stupid fouls that could have been avoided. Um, 
so no we definitely want to be higher we definitely want to control the bits in the end better so so that that's the next bit we need to work on and finally 550 Brentford fans made a made a trip down on a, a boxing day when obviously a lot of people would be at home home with their families are you pleased you give them something oh, I'm so pleased I'm so pleased they coming down to support us uh, it means a lot to us. They're helping us massively uh, during the game, and I'm so pleased that we give them a, at least a, a point. And uh, I would say Merry Christmas to all of them. And I, I hope there's a lot of travellers uh, to Birmingham on Saturday as well.